In this video, we'll find the percent composition by mass for each element in KOH. This is potassium hydroxide. So we have an equation here. This will help us. And the first thing we want to find for our equation is the molar mass of the compound. That'll look like this. Note that the units are grams per mole. So we have the molar mass of the compound. Now we're going to look at each element. And we're going to multiply each element by the number of that element. Here we only have one of each element. So that'll simplify this equation. So let's find the percent composition by mass for the K here in KOH. So for the potassium, on the periodic table, potassium is 39.10 and the units grams per mole. We divide that by the molar mass of the compound. And remember, we only have one potassium atom, so we don't really need to do anything with this. So we have 56.11. We multiply it by 100 so we can get a percent here. And notice that grams per mole is on the top and the bottom. That's going to cancel out. We end up with 69.68%. And that means if you have a sample of KOH, you look at the mass, 69.68% of the mass is due to the mass of the potassium. Let's do the oxygen next. We have 16.00. I won't write grams per mole since it cancels out over this number here. Multiply by 100, and we end up with 28.52%. Then for the hydrogen, 1.01 .01 over the molar mass of the compound times 100, and we get 1.80%. And these all should add up very close to 100, if not 100%. And that's how you find the percent composition by mass for each element here in KOH, potassium hydroxide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.